morning, Libra. It's Leslie with your F February forecast. Um, and it is a happy, happy month for you. It really is. First of all, thank you for all your comments. I'm glad everyone is checking the horoscopes now. Um, I've added a little new, few new things to them. And uh, uh, make sure you check the webpage. We're going to have some specials on there that you'll, you'll like very soon. Okay, Libra, here we go for you for February. Your harmony and ability to help everyone will shine through this month. And you are a real helper. You know that, Libra, you're a real helper for people. You just have natural sympathy and empathy for them. You just had an unpleasant relationship that did not work out. You're trying to see if you can work work it out, work it back up. Uh, I think it was a, at least a six year relationship, five, six years. So um, give yourself some breathing room before you make any commitment. Because you may realize things that you know, when you're with somebody every day, it, it's a little different than when you're away. You may be overwhelmed with things you need to do, so organize. Slow down, or this will cause you stress. It will start to cause you stress. Insomnia and headaches. Uh, during this period, you will, you will lack sympathy. You have a lot of sympathy, but you lack that extra sympathy that you have. Avoid speaking or making someone or mocking at someone even, because it could backfire on you. It really could. Remember that your word is your wand, and it's very important what you say. And I know, Libra, you're very good at words and expressing yourself, but be careful what you say this time, this month. Um, although you may not feel like it, it could be very, very cooperative at work. You may not feel like being cooperative, but it's time for you to be cooperative, or else you'll have some problems. Wait for a better opportunity to air things that you do not like. So wait until next month. It would be much better for you. Uh, your best days are the 5th, the 19th, and the 21st. And let's see what the cards have in store for you. Okay, here we go. Oh, the star. Oh, that's, that's a wonderful card to have. Very positive, very good things happening. And I'll show you when we get to, to do your cards here. Um, and the Empress, which you are many times with people. And the Happy Family card. Well, this is in the past, but things have been straightened out a little bit for you, I think. The breakup with your partner or whoever you're with made you very um, sad, very sad in your heart, very sad because... Things were very well, and then um, he or she did some things she didn't like. Maybe they, they drink too much. I don't know. Or they go out. You're afraid they're with someone else. Um, but you will work it out. As you can see with this card, way I love it so much, she has no clothes on because she doesn't have to hide anywhere behind anything. Uh, she's thinking of new things to do. She's reached her goal, and she wants to make some new things to, go, to do, which will be very good for you to keep yourself busy right now. Here we are, the happy family card. You have two very happy family cards. Um, this one tells me that um, you may think about moving, buying a house, um, maybe, or you're, you're really, um, really, really uh, excited because someone is going to have a baby, uh, going to get married or getting engaged or a birthday, and you're planning a really nice, nice party with your family. New thoughts, new beginnings for you in the near future, um, and you, your your thoughts are very sharp. As long as you pay, you know, pay attention to your own thoughts because you have some good ones. And your most positive influence influence is yourself. Here you are. You've worked very hard to know who you are, uh, and you do know now. And you know you don't have to be um, sorry about who you are. You can be very proud of yourself. You've worked very hard to get there. School hard knocks some of it. And here you are, you've really, um, really, um, sometimes we call her the Empress, we call her the, the Earth Mother. And she's um, very, very happy with you, very happy with you this month. So, think that, take that into consideration. Here you are, really wondering, I think this is about that relationship, unless it's about um, someone, someone, I think it's a personal, really wondering what to do. Um, about it and um don't push yourself don't don't rush into it you'll have you'll come with the right answer and here's also the happy family card so i think this one 
has to do with your family and everybody will be getting together. Okay, and Sue is gonna pick your angel card. And it is, fantasy is the first step to success. Very good, very good. Have a wonderful month, bye-bye.